In this episode of Building Ryloth, we'll be once again focusing on the capital, but we will be beginning the interior design, building up the entranceway into the capital. Then we'll shift our focus to the main battlefield where I'll give you an idea of what the final design will look like. But let's get into this episode of Building Ryloth. So I received the final parts that I will need to complete the doors. To start this episode, I went ahead and replaced all the substitutes with the correct colors. Additionally, I received a large order of lights from Light My Bricks, so I went ahead and installed some lights for the main control room. I'm once again going for that yellowish tone with the lights, and this is what it looks like all lit up. I think it's time to begin the paneling around the entranceway leading into the capital. Now when it comes to the entrance, I want to use some sort of archways that's going to kind of surround the doors. So I'm making use of some wedge plates to kind of get the angle portion of the archway. But I can't just make use of hinge plates because the wall is going to curve. So I also use some ball joints that's going to allow the archway to curve out this way and wrap around the wall. So it's going to attach something like this. And obviously I need to figure out connection points for each of these sides of the archway. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this and build up these sections of the walls that's going to be behind this archway. But hopefully the final product will look something like this, which we have the doors on the other side and then the archway and it has enough space for the AAT to pass through. I went ahead and built up all the panels that will surround the tunnel leading through into the capital. So they all attach pretty easily, just the same way that we've been doing the rest of the main tower. And I'm continuing to use the same texturing technique throughout all the paneling. Additionally, I added connection points for the main archway around the bottom portions of the panels. The panels on the far right and left are really the simplest ones here. There's not much going on there that we haven't done before. Now the design for the doors actually have an anti-stud on the back, which allows me to attach them to a stud on the bottom of the archway. I'm pretty happy with how this portion of the main tower has turned out, but I now want to shift my focus to the design of the interior of the tunnel leading through into the main capital. Since the outer panels are at an angle, they won't match with the interior walls, so I'm making use of some paneling subsections, which will allow me to kind of get a more seamless transition from the angle into the straightness of the wall. So when the outer panels shift and angle, I need to reflect that into the design of these panel subsections. So I'm making use of a single trees greater slope, which fills the gap pretty well. So looking at the interior design, it seems like the walls are composed of dark tan, but fortunately I can't do that since the hinge plates I'm using are not available in dark tan. So instead what I chose was to do a transition between the dark tan starting out and to the dark gray for the kind of top of the ceiling. I've added texture just the same way I've been doing with the rest of the capital. I do need to get some more pieces in dark tan though. So in the episode, there's these curved objects with wires protruding up above them that I wanted to try to capture, even though they might not be entirely accurate in terms of scale. So for the curved sections, I'm just making use of some curved slopes, but for the wiring detail, I'm making use of some bars. But I don't think that's enough, so I decided to use a Indiana Jones whip in black, which will then wrap around the bars, which will just enhance the look of the wiring. This is what the final version will look like. So I've gone ahead and built up a couple of them and there's actually this support structure that you see that's kind of set between each of them that I wanted to try to capture. So I put some plates on their sides and try to replicate the pattern that you can see using tiles. And the rest of the curved wall just attaches using some modified bricks and gives me the correct angle that I will need. Now the top of this thing actually has some modified bricks, which will allow me to attach it to this Technic structure that I built. So the Technic structure will allow it to hold the weight of the main tower without it collapsing. And just with a little bit of finicking, you can get it to line up pretty well. So 
So overall, I'm really happy with this design. There's obviously a couple gaps there that I'll need to fix up in the future. It's not exactly the scale, so I won't be able to fit an AAT in here like I was originally planning. I did want to get all the details that you see accurately portrayed, but that's fine. I knew this entire thing was never going to be two figure scale. So I wanted to take a break from working on the capital. Since I've been building up a supply of black bricks, I thought it'd be a good time to do more work on the black border. It's a pretty simplistic design, but what I want to try to do in the future is to have the black border slope up in order to match the sloping of the terrain. But what I'm doing now is just tiling off the top of it and hopefully I can figure that out soon. I wasn't able to quite finish off the black border. I did end up running out of parts. And I want to shift my focus back to the terrain just for a little bit and continuing to block out where the sand green and the olive green are going to go and following the flow of the terrain that I set up in a previous episode. I've been purchasing some olive green and sand green plates over the past couple of weeks so it's good to finally put them to use. But just in a small area, I did want to kind of show you what the final design for the terrain will look like. So what I'm doing is I'm making use of some curved slopes, some cheese slopes, and some tiles just to change up the consistency of the terrain, which currently is just a lot of studs. If I add in just some smooth portions of the terrain, it just makes it look a lot better. Definitely let me know what you think about the design for the entranceway of the Capitol in the comments. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. I really wanted to, I probably could have figured out a technique with using flex tubing. I really wanted to make that entire thing dark tan, but the really main issue with that is just gonna be money. I'm in a bit of a different financial situation than I was when I was building Umbara. If I don't really need to spend money, then I'm not gonna spend that money, even though it would probably be more accurate. Definitely let me know what you thought about the update. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.